Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to work on 2-6, which is adding and subtracting with unlike denominators. We've already done a few of these, so this video should be pretty quick. We got 5 14th, we got 1 7th, we're adding them together. You know you can't add fractions unless they have a common denominator, just like you can't subtract fractions unless they have a common denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at both denominators and we're going to find the least common multiple of our denominators. We know that 14 and 7 have a common multiple of 14. It is the least common multiple as well. We know that 14 times 1 is 14, so we have to do the same thing to the top. 5 14 stays 5 14. We know that 7 times 2 is 14, so we have to multiply the top by 2 as well, and we get 2 14. 5 14 plus 2 14, now that we have the common denominator, can just simply be added together. We add the numerator 5 with the numerator 2. We get 7. The denominator stays the same, 14. 7 14 reduces down to 1 half because 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 14 divided by 7 is 2. 1 half is our box and final answer. Number 2. We've got ourselves a couple of mixed numbers. You may not do any work when you have mixed numbers. You always must convert them to improper fractions. We've got 8 and 2 thirds. We're going to convert that to an improper. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 2 is 26. We've got 26 thirds. We're going to continue to subtract. 1 and 1 half is converted into an improper, which is 3 halves. We now look at our denominators. 3 and 2 are not the same. Therefore, we must find a least common multiple for 3 and 2. We know that 6 is the least common multiple for 3 and 2. I prefer to write the denominators and the sign that goes with the problem before I actually work on the numerators, just because I don't want to forget any of it. 3 times 2 is 6, so we got to do 26 times 2, and we get 52. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9, so we get 9. So now we're doing 52 6 minus 9 6. 52 minus 9 is 43 over 6. I don't think anything goes into both 43 and 6, therefore we cannot reduce it any further. 43 is a prime number. Um, we have an improper fraction. We can never, ever, ever give our answer in an improper fraction, therefore we convert it into a mixed number. 6 goes into 43 7 times. You have 1 left over. You keep your denominator of 6. 7 and 1 6 is your final. And number 3, we have ourselves a word problem. We're going to talk about Jack and Diane between now and the end of the year. I'm going to tell you a little story about my two buddies named Jack and Diane. This is the first time you're hearing about Jack and Diane, and I'm just going to tell you how tall they are. Jack, 6 feet 2 and a half inches tall. Diane, 5 feet 3 and 3 quarters inches tall. How much taller than Diane is Jack? Jack, six feet, two and a half inches. Really hard to deal with two different um, units of measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my six feet, two and a half inches into all inches. Common knowledge tells me that there are 12 inches in one foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take six feet, two and a half inches, and I'm going to convert it into all inches. Six times 12, because I have six feet, and there's 12 inches in a foot, 6 times 12 is 72, plus another 2 and a half inches. We know that Jack is 74 and 1 half inches tall. I'm going to say this is Jack. We're going to do the same thing for Diane. She's 5 feet 3 and 3 quarters. 5 times 12 is 60, plus 3 and 3 quarters would be 63 and 3 quarters inches tall. This is Diane. Now I have myself a nice little mathematical problem. I need to know the difference between Jack and Diane, and I'm going to express my answer in inches. So I'm going to rewrite my problem as 74 and 1 half, which is Jack's height, minus 63 and 3 quarters, which is Diane's height. Now I have myself mixed numbers, and I can't ever do math with mixed numbers, so I'm going to convert them into improper's. 74 times 2 is 148 plus 1 is 149, so I have 149 over 2. So I have, I'm sorry, I'm going to start off again here. I have 149 over 2, please ignore all of this. 149 over 2, and then 63 and 3 quarters, quarters um, converted to a mixed number would be 63 times 4, which is 240 plus 12, 252 plus 3 is 255. So we have 255 over 4. I need to get common denominators so I can subtract. I know that 4 is the least common multiple for both 4 and 2. So we've got 255 fourths right here. we got 2 times 2, which is 4. So 149 times 2 is 298. Now that I have common denominators, I can subtract. 
298 minus 255 leaves me with 43 left over for my numerator and 4 as my denominator. 43 fourths is not an appropriate answer since it is an improper fraction, so we must convert it into a mixed. 4 goes into 43 10 times with 3 fourths left over. Our final answer is Jack is 10 and 3 fourths inches taller than Diane. Good luck.